Hello and welcome to The Design Show. We're back after our long summer break and this week's episode is filmed in a magical, beautiful sculpture garden in Andalusia. And you may remember back in episode 9 where I challenged you to come up with your own video on colour, we've actually got a winner for the plant design formula. If you're frustrated your garden doesn't look as beautiful as it could, even though you've purchased lots of lovely plants, then help is at hand. Plants are not enough. You have to have a good design layout. And when you combine design with the beauty of plants, that's when the magic really happens. It's our mission here at Successful Garden Design to show you how to do it. And it's much easier than you may think. I'm Rachel Matthews and I've been a professional international garden designer for over 25 years and I teach garden design online. So this is Kitty Harry and this is her beautiful garden that we're touring around. So Kitty, what was the inspiration to start this garden in the first place? Well, um, I had quite a few sculptures when I moved down to, to Spain and uh, put them around the place. Um, I did them uh, about uh, 10, between 10 and 15 years ago when mm -hmm. I went to, uh, I did a degree in sculpture in Wales. So I <laughs> mobilized these very heavy stone carvings Gosh. down here. and. Uh, They've been around and then uh, people started to um, come and talk to me about my books mainly because I'm also a writer. So. Yes, I, I read that on your website. <laughs> How do you find the time to do both? Uh, with some difficulty, but <laughs> I'm quite old. That helps. <laughs> but I had, had a lot of time to do it. I started sculpting more and more and then uh, suddenly it occurred to me that, hey, I ought to open my garden to, to yes. the public. Well, it, it's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> and you're open on Sundays, is that right? Yes, I'm open between 11 and 5 on Sundays mm -hmm. and also um, to, a, to groups larger than four mm -hmm. uh, at any other time when I'm at home. So. Okay. With previous uh, appointment. <laughs> and how many sculptures do you have here? Um, I've got uh, just over 60. Oh, wow. Yeah, 60. And, and about 40 of them are my own. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got about 20 by other sculptors, about eight, eight or 10 other artists. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And what's your favourite medium? Is it stone? It is what I'm most used to. Mm. Uh, I'm also trying out all different materials like wood and concrete, metal, oh, wow. <laughs> plaster. <whatever>. Great. <laughs> now for people at home that have got sculptures or they're thinking of buying one, do you have any tips on how to place them and or actually how to choose one? Is it always a heart decision? Okay, in terms of buying a sculpture, I think it's very important that you buy you what it. you love. Yes. But also keeping in mind that, that it will last outside. That's a very good point. Uh, yes. Depending on what climate you're in. Yes. Uh, obviously, in Spain, it's it, the, the you know sun is is a big factor in terms of uh, uh, in terms of wear and tear. But uh, in the UK, for example, frost mm. would, would, could affect even even stone. So if people want to come and visit and look at your website, what's yeah. your web address? It's www.kittyharry with an i dot com. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you ever so much for letting us film here today. It's been thank an you. absolute pleasure. So while we're here, let's have a look at some more of the garden. Now this piece, remarkably enough, is not made out of separate sections, but it's actually just one piece of Portuguese marble. And the difference in colour is the base piece has been uh, polished and the rest is just left unpolished. And that gives a lovely difference in texture. Now this idea is so clever. To begin with, I thought they were just painted curtain rails, but actually they are just standard tree stakes and they've just been painted this gorgeous blue and it, uh, it works really well. And what's more, the blue pillars make a lovely backdrop to this beautiful pot mosaic with the mosaic waterfall. And the garden has wonderful views across the landscape beyond and this comes up to one of my absolute favourite pieces. Isn't this gorgeous? It's so dramatic and so eye-catching and it's by Ron Egan and it beautifully matches the tree there. And through here we've got another wonderful piece. This I think is one of my favourite in the whole garden. 
And in the next Design Show episode, we're going to look at how you can position statues, sculptures and focal points in your garden to get the most from them. Um, we're going to play the rest of the interview with Kitty and she came up with some really fantastic tips from an artist's point of view. And I'm going to give you my tips from a garden designer's perspective. So between the two of us, we're going to get you positioning some sculptures and focal points in your garden like a pro. And if you'd like some more top tips on how to add the wow factor to your garden, I've created a cheat sheet that you can download and a short video tutorial that walks you through the top five things that you must do if you want to create a stunning garden. So head on over to successfulgardendesign.com forward slash wow and you can download your cheat sheet there. Okay, now you may remember back to episode nine where we did, we focused on color and color theory. And I challenged you, the viewer, to come up with your own color combinations. And we do have a winner for the plant design formula. Now this is the course where I walk you through all the steps of exactly how you prepare a planting plan. I also give you my top secret database on all the plants that I photographed and that I use on a daily basis as a designer. And our winner is Nikki from Washington DC. Now she did a fantastic little video showing the color schemes that she wanted to create in her garden. And also even gave us a little tour of what's there now. So congratulations, Nikki. You did ever so well with your video. I'm so pleased for you. And you will be getting access to the plant design formula. So I hope you enjoy the course and I hope you'll send us pictures of the finished results. Mm -hmm.